Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Rachel. Today I want to share with you guys a little hair tutorial. It's basically a very easy, big, loose curl type of hair tutorial and I do this in a lot of my YouTube videos. You'll see me with hair like this and it's really easy. I do it in less than 10 minutes and these curls usually last for days until I wash it basically. Of course, it'll loosen up as the day goes on but basically the whole idea is that it's like big, loose curls. So generally these curls stay for a few days until I wash it. So yeah, if you want to know how I achieve these big loose curls on my long Asian hair, then just keep watching. So the tool that I'm going to be using is the Duval Desire Series Curling Wand and this is a 32 millimeter wand which is one and a quarter inches if you're American. I find that this size of barrel works best for long hair if you want really big loose curls. This product was gifted to me so this tool came with a glove but I find that the glove is a little bit hard to work with. I just prefer using my hand so we're not going to be using a glove today. But if you're a beginner definitely use a glove because you don't want to burn yourself. So to start off I'm going to be using a heat protectant and this is like a generic one that I got from Walmart. It's the Tresemme one. I'm just gonna set a timer on my phone so I can show you guys how long it actually takes me to do my hair. So this is the timer and I'm gonna press start. So I don't like to clip my hair up or anything because I don't find that that's necessary with really big loose curls. I like to take a section that is about this big, so a pretty big section. I would say this is like, like about two inches and you flatten out your hair. So I like to take pretty big sections because I want my curls to be loose anyways. So, and it, it's a little bit faster to do it this way. So I wrap my hair outwards away from my face and I start from the back. I held it there for about 10 seconds. I think that was a little bit more than 10 seconds, but it really should have been only 10 seconds. And then I just let it go and then toss it to the back. And then I repeat the same with each section of my hair on one side and I curl all of them in one direction. So this is well, the section slightly bigger than the previous one, but it works too. Okay, so I just finished one side and that took about like three or four minutes. Um, I'm not going to brush the curls out until it completely cools, so I'm moving on to the other side first. So I repeat the same thing on the other side, but I curl it away from my face again, so it's going the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm done curling both sides. That took a total of that took a total of nine minutes and fifteen seconds, which is pretty good considering I was trying to talk at the same time. But usually it takes me less than ten minutes to do my hair. So this is not exactly the finished product yet. I'm just gonna wait a little bit until my hair completely cools before brushing it out, so that it retains the curls a little bit more and lasts a little bit longer. I don't like to use hairspray in my hair just because I like to keep my curled hair for days. I don't wash my hair every day. And if I put hairspray in my hair, then it makes my hair really messy the next day if I sleep on it. So it gets really 
really tangled so I just prefer not to have any hairspray in my hair. So all I really use is the heat protectant and I find the heat protectant actually helps a little bit in retaining the um, curls in my hair. But I find that the most important part for keeping your curls curled is that your hair has to be completely, completely dry before you curl it. So I know that it can take a long time for a long hair to dry. If I wash my hair and let it air dry for like three or four hours, it's still not completely um, dry yet. Like it'll feel dry, but I know that there's still moisture in my hair because when I curl my hair, it tends to like smoke a little bit, but that smoke is actually steam. It's not your hair burning. So when that does happen, I know that the curls are likely not going to retain its shape for a long time. So if you are curling your hair and you notice that steam coming out of your hair, then I will probably like take out a blow dryer and dry my hair some more or um, just try again later. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like right now without running through it with my hands. Yeah, I think this looks pretty nice in itself even if I don't run my hair hands through it. So I'm just going to separate the curls out a little bit with my fingers. Okay, so this is the finished product after running my fingers through it and loosening the curls some more. This is my preferred hairstyle and it's really easy to do. So you, if you see my hair curled in my videos, this is usually what I do. But yeah, this is my really quick 10 minute hair routine on how I curl my hair. So thank you guys so much for watching and hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more beauty and fashion videos. I do a lot of of clothing hauls and makeup videos on my channel so yeah don't forget to subscribe to see my weekly content and I'll see you in my next video